In this video, we are going to have a look at two different types of proportion. These two types are direct proportion and inverse proportion. When we compare two values and there is a constant ratio between these values, it is direct proportion. As the one value increases, the other one will also increase. Or when the one value decreases, the other value will also decrease in the same ratio. Inverse proportion has a constant product. Here, the one value will increase when the other one decreases and other way around. An example of direct proportion is the more cold drinks you buy, the more you will have to pay. Let's say that one cold drink costs you 10 rand. If you buy two cold drinks, you will then pay 20 rand. Three cold drinks will cost 30 rand. Therefore, the more cold drinks you buy, the more you pay. From our video on ratios, we know that any ratio can also be written in fraction form. And if we simplify each one of these fractions, they will end up being the same simplified fraction of 10 over 1 or simply 10. That is why we have a constant ratio. If you go and represent this on a graph with your number of cold drinks on the x-axis and the amount that you pay on the y-axis, you will see that it is always an increasing straight line graph. So a constant ratio means we divide the two values that we are comparing and every single time we get the same constant ratio. When you are working with a direct proportion, your first step will always be to determine this constant ratio. Next, let's have a look at an example of inverse proportion. If you buy a pizza, it is divided up into eight slices. So if you eat the pizza all by yourself, you will get eight slices. If you, however, decide to share your pizza with one other person, two people will now each receive four slices. Therefore, the more people sharing the pizza, the less each person receives. This time, it is important to realize that you do not have a constant ratio, but if you now multiply these two values with each other, you will have a constant product. So again, we can rewrite this in algebra and say that constant product means x multiplied by y is some constant value. When working with an inverse proportion, your first step will always be to determine this constant product. And when you represent an inverse proportion on a graph, it will always form a decreasing curve. So when doing a question about proportion, your first step is always to determine whether it's direct proportion or inverse proportion, because that will determine whether your first step will be division to get the constant ratio or multiplication to get the constant product. Example one, if eight burgers are sold for 280 Rand, how much will 11 burgers cost? As mentioned, you firstly need to determine whether this is direct or inverse proportion. Here we are going to buy more burgers and they will cost more. So that means this is direct proportion. For direct proportion, your first step is always to determine the constant ratio by dividing. So here we'll take the 280 Rand and divide that by the eight burgers. This will give us 35 Rand per burger. If I now want to buy 11 burgers, that will be 11 times 35 Rand, and that will give us a total of 385 Rand. Example two. If it takes four men three hours to dig a ditch, how many men are needed to dig the same ditch in two hours? We want to decrease the number of hours from three hours to two hours. 
To decrease the number of hours, we will need more men, so we will have to increase the number of men. This means this is inverse proportion. For inverse proportion, you start off by determining the constant product. So, we will take 4 men and multiply that by 3 hours to get 12 hours. This implies that one man will dig this ditch in 12 hours. We want to know how many men are needed to dig this ditch in 2 hours. That means we need to determine 2 multiplied by what will give us this constant of 12 hours. The easiest way to do this is to say 12 divided by 2. Then we will get 6, which means that 6 men are needed to dig this same ditch in 2 hours. Example 3. Complete the following tables. To complete these tables, we once again first need to determine whether the values in these tables have a direct or inverse proportion. In this first table, you will see that as the x value increases, the y value decreases, which means this is inverse proportion. Therefore, we need to determine the product of x times y, because here we will have a constant product. 2 times 30 equals 60, which means that the product of each column should now be 60. So, to determine C, I can say 60 divided by 5, which will give me 12. And the same goes for calculating D. Here, I take my constant product of 60 and I divide by 3, which will give me a D value of 20. In the second table, the X value increases as the Y value increases. And this means that we have direct proportion. So this time I'm going to start off determining the constant ratio. And here you can choose to say y divided by x or x divided by y. My ratio is then 5 over 3 and that means that all the columns will have a simplified ratio of 5 over 3. So if I want to determine a I know that a divided by 7,5 is the simplified ratio 5 over 3. So to solve a, I'm going to take 5 over 3 and multiply by 7,5. This will give me an a value of 12,5. When calculating the value for b, I'm going to swap around my ratio simply because it's easier to solve b if it's in the numerator. So I will have b over 30, which should be the same ratio as 3 over 5. So b will be 3 over 5 multiplied by 30. And this will give me a b value of 18.